Let's start at the beginning. Okay, Peter, you got this, you got this. To date, we've seen three different actors portray the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man on the big screen, but the story of Tom Holland's Spider-Man has been shown in a very different way compared to the others, perhaps because he was at the top of the Avengers. That's why he's so popular now, but he was also heavily criticized by fans when he first came out, trying to do something in the shadow of Tony Stark, where the Uncle Ben incident, the spider bite was not shown and Tony was already deceased, the adolescent Spider-Man could not break his chains until the last Spider-Man No Way Home movie. So who's spider bit Tom Holland's Peter? We started analyzing the theories that have come out so far on this, and I really liked some of the information that Iron Man was involved from the very beginning, that Tony directly designed the Spider-Man speech, and that made some sense. Let's take a look at the theories about which Spider bit Spider-Man and what role Tony Stark played in the incident. Let's see, when I see the percentage of our viewers who are not subscribed, it makes me sad, and it's very simple to reverse these rates. Just remember to press the subscribe button, the rest will take care of itself. Yes, Tony passed away a long time ago, but we still talk about him. You may recall that years ago in Iron Man 2, during the attacks on the Stark Expo, he was trying to save civilians while dealing with the enemy. It has long been rumored and somewhat confirmed that the little boy in this scene is Tom Holland's Peter Parker, considering that Spider-Man first appeared in Civil War exactly six years after this movie, there seems to be an age difference, but let's ignore that. Tony Stark saving Peter and Peter being so moved by it could be the turning point in Peter's life on his way to becoming some kind of superhero. Anyway, guys, first let's see which spider bit Peter, we'll talk about it later. As you know, both Toby and Andrew were bitten by spiders in the Oxcorp lab, but because our Tom was suddenly involved, it was never clear what happened where and how. Also, from what we saw in No Way Home, the Oxcorp company clearly doesn't exist in Tom Holland's universe because when Norman Osborn got rid of the Green Goblin, he couldn't find his home or his company. So something seems to have gone very wrong for the Osborn family here. Of course, the company could be established later, but that won't affect the path of Tom's Peter to become Spider-Man. Where did this spider come from if not Oxcorp? If you ask how it bit our boy, yes, there are some famous companies in this alternative with Tom. But none of that matters when Tony Stark is around. So Stark Industries is probably where our Spider-Man came from. Let's look at another option. Before Tony recruited Spider-Man in Civil War, he strangely knew everything about him, as if he had been following him for a long time, and then his interest in him was not as if he had known Peter for a short time. I mean, it was as if Peter had grown up next to him and watched everything he went through from the outside, and he even inherited the glasses after he was officially dead. There is no way that there is really nothing behind Tony's concern, obsessed with protecting the world. He may have tried to create his own superhero and made sure that what happened to Peter was planned and not accidental. Some of our friends will find this theory absurd, but many villains like Ultron and Mysterio were created thanks to this brother. Yeah, okay, this last theory is a bit far-fetched. But there is a very good chance that Spider-Man will come out of the Stark Company. There are also rumors of a future animated production. Yes, friends, don't forget to subscribe to the channel in advance to be informed about other videos. And I would be glad if you express your views on this subject in the comments. Yes, we have come to the end of another video. Goodbye until we see you in the next video.